Yeah, I've changed my mind. I'm going to pop home for a sandwich. Good call. Sorry? Marlon's having an off day. Is he? Having a bit of girl trouble. Really? Don't pretend you don't know. Why would I know that? Try again. Sorry? I know it's you. <laughs> don't be ridiculous. And that's the other reason you're doing a runner. I'm not doing a runner! A bit embarrassing with your hubby in there and all, especially with him being the vicar. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Stop! Has somebody said something to you? You didn't need to. And neither do you. It's like one of those big flashing signs, Laurel Hearts Marlon. You've got this very wrong. Well, I'm not going to tell the vicar if that's what you're worried this about. This is unbelievable. As long as you back off Marlon. And what on earth has any of this got to do with you? He's a decent bloke. Dead straight. And people take advantage. Yeah, like I said, I wouldn't know. Good. Because if anyone does, they'll get a slap from me. Rachel! You better not be spreading this stuff around the village, because it's rubbish. Sweet. Oh, you've just had your tea. I want to right down. Oh, do you? I'm sorry, but uh, Mummy's got a bit of a headache, actually. Right, why don't you two go upstairs and play for a bit, yes? And I'll come up in a minute and run your bath. Off you go. Bye, darling. I'll get you some painkillers. Yeah. Long lunch? Oh, it was compass mentis when I left him. Um, we had a good chat, by the way, about this morning. Thanks. I am so sorry. You've every right to be angry with oh, me. Oh, forget it. I need to mind my own business. Give you some space. It's fine, honestly. He was completely thrilled, by the way. What do you mean? You and me. Trying for a baby. What did you turn that for? He's been worried about it. I don't this. want it around the village just in case I have it sworn happen. into secrecy. You should have checked with me first. All right, I'm sorry. I'm so I'm sorry. Stop apologising. And I promise I won't say another thing about Marlon. It's fine. I just overreacted. If you don't want to be Leo's godmother, that's completely up to you. Of course I want to be Leo's godmother. <laughs> well, that's marvellous. Oh, Marlon's going to be over the moon. Oh, I don't know. Oh, Laurel, look. Go and see him. Clear the air. And then... And then maybe you and I can have another early night. Diane said you had the night off. I thought we weren't going to do this. What have you said to Rachel? Nothing. Right, that's not what she's told me. She might have noticed stuff. It's going to be all around the village. No, no way. She won't tell anyone. So you did tell her then? Tell her what? Tell her what, Laurel? Nothing's happened. Ashley can't hear about this. Do you understand? Then what are you doing here if you're so worried about it? Because he sent me, because he won't shut up about <sighs> being this stupid godmother. Well, if you said yes straight away, what about Sandy in my kitchen? Give me the third degree. That's how so she's sussed it. Then. You're the one who tried to kiss me. Or is that just another part of my evil plan to wreck your life? Don't do that. Don't look at me like that, Marlon. It's as if you hate me. Are you going to say something? Uh, no, because as soon as we talk about this, then we're going to know what a disaster this is. I can't pretend. No, 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 no. You say not to me, it's yourself. I've got to get home because Ashley's expecting me. I'll see you tomorrow.